حبيبنا حبيبنا ألف صلى الله ألف صلى الله على قمر الكمال حبيبنا من سكن طيبا من سكن طيبا من سكن طيبا إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له ولي مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الناس تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I think if I gave one anagil to everybody sitting here, perhaps we might still have some energy. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Anagil means uh, camel milk for those that uh, don't speak Somali. But inshallah, we're going to continue on uh, with the topic. I'm sorry, um, I was supposed to be the last speaker. Uh, I did not sneak out. Um, so I was running on schedule. Um, so please, inshallah, forgive me for that. Um, the topic for uh, tonight is called, How Did Islam Come to Somalia? It's a topic that obviously uh, needs a lot of research and everything. Um, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says this hadith is uh, by Abu Hurair radiallahu anhu, that Islam came as something strange and it will leave as something strange and give glad tidings to the, the, the glad tidings, give them glad tidings to those individuals, to the strangers. Um, now we understand that at the time of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Abyssinia, um, what was called Abyssinia at the time, there was a king and uh, his, name, he was the, uh, his name was the Najashi. And this king, I mean, in the time of Mecca, in the city of Mecca, a lot of the Muslims, they were going through a lot of problems and the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the last prophets, he said or he sent a few people to go to Abyssinia because of the problems that were going on in Mecca at the time, the people of Quraysh. So what happened was uh, they went and they traveled and they went to Abyssinia, uh, Ethiopia, modern day, and, uh, and there were a lot of things that were going on at that time. And uh, Amr ibn al-As, um, he was sent by the, by the head of the Quraysh clan and he was told to basically bring the people that went to Abyssinia to bring them back uh, to Mecca. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, understanding that the king was very just and he was a just ruler, he was someone that understood and at the same time, um, they were followed by none other than Ja'far ibn Abi Talib. And Ja'far ibn Abi Talib, he was the spokesperson for uh, the people that came from Mecca, from Quraysh. And at the same time, what happened at that time was, there was a spokesperson, so that showed you leadership, and that showed you that there was only one person that would speak on behalf of everybody that came from Mecca at the time. And they spoke to the king and they told the king or Ja'far ibn Abi Talib who was a spokesperson spoke to the king about the situation that they were going through. And what happened at that time was Amr ibn al-As, uh, he was not a Muslim at the time. 
and uh, he was sent by the Quraysh, the head of the Quraysh clan, to bring everyone back, like I said earlier. And, um, and, they, and he spoke to the king, and this king listened to the side of Amr ibn al-As and Ja'far um, uh, ibn Abi Talib. And Ja'far ibn Abi Talib, he explained to the king that this religion that they have of Islam, that they have within them, um, is a religion that does not believe in Isa being the son of God, does not believe in Jesus being the son of God, rather believes that Isa is uh, the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Isa would obviously return back again. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have any son or of that sort. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants something to happen, He says, Kun, be, and it will be. Understanding the two sides and listening to it, uh, the king after that being just understood where uh, Ja'far ibn Abi Talib was coming from and what happened at that moment was that the Muslims, they started to uh, expand and to go on further and then uh, the religion of Islam obviously continuing on um, as Somalis at the time were uh, nomads and honestly there were people that just lived in every part of the, every parts and Portland being uh, a place where people were known for trading and back and forth between uh, the Middle East and Portland and then the religion of Islam started to grow obviously uh, this is not a history class but due to the time frame I do have uh, 10 minutes and, uh, and that's how uh, Muslims, I mean, so, uh, Muslim, the religion of Islam started to expand from there on and so on. And now the interesting thing is that when you see uh, the entire country of Somalia itself, um, like almost everyone is Muslim. 99.9% uh, .9 I believe are Muslims and they all follow one madhab, Shafi'i madhab, which is the predominant one. And at the same time, there are all Sunni Muslims uh, so, alhamdulillah, the religion of Islam uh, expanded from there on and as you can see um, in the entire globe itself that Somalis live almost in every single country and for you to not be able to find a masajid, I mean it would be very rare, you would obviously ask for is there a Somali person that lives in this town and if there's a Somali person, you would go to them and ask them, can you show me where the masajid is? And Alhamdulillah, Islam flourished from there on in. And inshallah, I'm going to end with that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. And Jazakallah khair uh, for inviting me to the third time for this third uh, annual awakening conference. And let's just, try, and let's just uh, you know, stay awake as much as possible. It's towards the end or I'm going to have to get my anagil from the back for everyone. Jazakallah khair.